Here we have it, London. A non-stop growing population, flowing traffic and erected cranes around each corner. Have you heard of the saying, you are what you eat? Well I say, you are made by the city or town you grew up in. My name's Isabella Ryder and London is where I've grown up most of my life. So here I am standing on top of the Madison's Bar in St Paul's London with an absolutely spectacular view of London, I don't know if you can see it. Um, next I'm going to take you to the Switch House in South London um, to show you the extension of the new Tate Modern. So many people live on this planet. We walk past each other every day and you rarely see the same person again in passing. We all have our own ways of living, motivations and interests. There is one thing we have in common though, apart from being human obviously. No matter what we do, we all need a place we call home, a place to do work, have coffee and simply be. That's called spatial architecture. I'm an interior and spatial graduate who wants to show you around the city I grew up in. The Tate Modern's architect was Sir Gilbert Scott, who also designed the Waterloo Bridge and the famous red letterboxes dotted around the city. The chimney of the Tate is 99 metres high juxtaposed with the new switch house extension, which is approximately 64.5 metres, which leaves the Tate in general a quite high piece of architecture. Bringing in around 5 million visitors a year, it's truly a successful place, housing up and coming to unforgettable artists and designers each year. I've enjoyed the Tate for many years now, from a young girl to an adult. I visit at least twice a month, even if it's just for a coffee on the top deck. The views of London are amazing. The Switch House is new, only opened this year. I find it refreshing that the designers used brick as a primary material, as the go-to material in architecture these days is glass. When I walk into the Tate Modern's Turbine Hall, I don't just see architecture, I see experiences from people of all ages and cultures. That's the aim for successful architecture, is to educate and show personal and impersonal experiences via material. The interiors are magical. Concrete spiral staircases, open ceilings full of portals to different levels. The lifts are usually cramped though, so I'd recommend taking the stairs. Windows aren't everywhere, but when they appear, they hold meaning. You'll see what I mean if you go. When you get to level 10 at the Switch House, be prepared for the 360 views of London. It's breathtaking. It's actually so high up when you look down. So I'm on top of the Switch House, which is the new extension by Hertz on Jamiro of the Tate Modern. It's absolutely amazing. The lattice work um, allows the light in. I'll show you some pictures later on. Amongst everyone on the top deck who are admiring the views, Taking photos and videos, I enjoy looking down on the city, being with the elements, smelling, hearing, looking and thinking. If you like this video and appreciate the visuals, you also may enjoy my Instagram account and website. Links in the description below. Please feel free to comment and like this video, also not forgetting to subscribe. Thanks. <laughs>